Hello folks and welcome to another day of 40 days of Lenten devotionals with Village Church. My name is Erin and I am serving this spring as a seminary intern with Village and am delighted to bring to you today this word remotely from my home here in Louisville, Kentucky. Perhaps now more than ever, you might be somewhat familiar with my city of Louisville as national news organizations have reported on the protesters, activists, and organizers who have spent every day of the past year taking justice to the streets, demanding police reform in the wake of the murders of Breonna Taylor and David McAtee. I truly wish that I had some sort of magical device that could teleport you here and offer a glimpse beyond the news reports, to the actual stories and scenes that I witnessed in Louisville this summer. Moments of marching and protest and lament and celebration in the streets where the spirit of God was palpable and hope was real. While I don't have access to a teleportation device, I do have access to the scriptures we as Christians hold dear. And within them there is a passage which simultaneously transports me to the Persian occupation of Israel and the Palm Sunday scene that we celebrated this past Sunday and the movement here in Louisville. Zechariah 9, 9 through 12 says, Lo, your king comes to you. Triumphant and victorious is he. Humble and riding on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a donkey. He will cut off the chariot from Ephraim and the war horse from Jerusalem, and the battle bow shall be cut off. And he shall command peace to the nations. His dominion shall be from sea to see and from the river to the ends of the earth as for you also because of the blood of my covenant with you i will set your prisoners free from the waterless pit return to your stronghold O prisoners of hope today i declare that i will restore you double i suppose that wherever you find yourself in this life whether in Louisville or in Kansas or someone, somewhere else in time and space entirely, you too will likely face situations and circumstances which require a hope that takes you captive, that requires the incoming of God who moves on behalf of freedom and of peace. This summer, in the streets in Louisville, I was able to witness powerful black women who carried God into our city. Women like Minister Stachelle Bussey, who is committed to feeding both hungry bellies and hungry souls. And Shamika Parrish Wright, who is committed to freeing the wrongly imprisoned. In a summer which felt like a waterless pit for many, these women were examples of King Jesus to many and to me. I pray that wherever you are, no matter the circumstance, that you also might catch glimpses of the coming King in our midst, being brought forth triumphantly, victoriously, and humbly yet boldly, bringing liberation and justice. And with that justice, the peace that comes when the powerful is challenged, the marginalized are restored, and the kingdom of God reigns from sea to sea.